Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, on today's video, I'm gonna show you how, guys how to make the seafood boil sauce. But we're not gonna do a seafood boil. We're gonna do a shrimp boil. It's gonna be shrimp and well, I'll show you the ingredients for the sauce and the ingredients for the boil. So for the ingredients, you're gonna need the Cajun seasoning the Old Bay, the lemon pepper, the chili powder, the Cajun um, pepper, the oregano, paprika. This is optional. But I like it spicy, so I put some of this, which is the red pepper flakes. You're gonna need uh, black pepper, acid salt, and you're gonna need this too, but this one's you're gonna get the powder, not the salt. So it's the garlic powder and the onion powder. Then you're also gonna need Tabasco sauce. And this right here, the war shirt. I can't say that, but this sauce right here. And then you're also going to need four. Well, it depends how many sauce you're trying to do, but I usually use four. But you have to get the unsalted butter. It doesn't matter what brand or whatever. As long as it's unsalted, you should be good because using all the spices, it's already kind of salty. Then you're also going to need... Um, garlic I usually get the peeled garlic and then you're gonna need some onion and you're gonna chop it up and that's all you need for the sauce now for the shrimp oil obviously you're gonna need shrimp I'm just doing it for myself so I'm using one pound of shrimp usually I get the ones that are um, debane but still with like with no head but still with like the um, the skin or whatever then I'm also gonna use two of the sausages like I said all this is just for myself so I'm not using a lot you're gonna need some potatoes I usually get both of them and I usually get the tiny ones the mini you're also gonna need some corn and some eggs and you're gonna have to boil the eggs as well and then you're obviously going to need, I use this, the one tablespoon for basically for all the seasonings. Then you're going to need a cutting board, a knife, a pan so you can do your sauce, and a pot with water to boil your shrimp, your potatoes, your corn, and your eggs. Now we're going to start making the sauce. So we're gonna turn the stove to kind of like a medium heat for the um, butter because we don't want your butter to get burnt. So you're gonna just, and just I did wash my hands and I washed all the veggies and the shrimp, so. So you're gonna have to have it kind of low so it could melt slowly and not get burned. See how they're melting slowly? That's what you want. Meanwhile, this is getting melted and this water is getting boiled. We're gonna cut the onion and the garlic. Okay. 
You can cut it however you want. Usually I just like leaving them in kind of like big pieces. And I just cut them in half. And that's how I'm going to keep mine. Not too big, not too small. Meanwhile, your butter still getting melted. I like onion on mine, so you could either chop it up fine and small, but mine, I'm okay with pieces like this. Then after that, you're gonna cut your, depends, I'm just gonna, because all this is gonna go in here. You can leave the garlic big if you want. I usually do two or three cuts on it. Because they get soft once they're in the sauce. So you can't taste them. You can't. And the onion and the garlic kind of gives it a, bit, a better flavor as well. So. See how the butter is almost melted? That's what it's gonna give the sauce a lot of flavor. Now that that's all cut out, you're gonna wait a little bit longer until all the butter is melted. Now that we have this done, we're gonna start on our seasonings. Like I said, we're gonna do one tablespoon of each. So, here we go. For this, I'll put two, two of them, because I like mine spicy, so I'm gonna put two. Two of this as well. Like I said, I like mine spicy, so all that's the spicy ones, the seasoning starts with uh, pepper and stuff like that, I'm putting two of each. And the rest, I'm just putting one. Like the oregano, that's um, garlic saw, I mean powder and all that stuff, I'm only putting one. Like I said, these ones are optional, but I like them spicy, so. But with this, I'm only putting one. Then you're gonna put some pepper. Accent salt. And your butter's almost ready, so you gotta keep an eye on that. And then for this, it's just the same amount pretty much like a tablespoon, but I don't put this until 
until this is ready because if you pour it in here then it's gonna get stuck to the to your uh whatever you put it in your container so it's almost ready and we're also boiling the water so in here you could actually I cut my corns in half you put that in first because it takes longer and then You see how it's almost melted? Now you could throw in the onion and the garlic. You're gonna let it sit for a little bit. Meanwhile, you cut, you cut the sausages. So now we're cutting the sausages to be put in there as well once the water is ready. We already have our seasonings in here. It looks like it's a little bit, but with the butter and all this, it's gonna be a good amount. Okay, now that the butter's really melted, you start pouring your stuff. Oh, your seasonings in there. And once you throw them in there, you stir little by little, not too fast, because then it might come out. Once you see it all in there, kind of like all together in there, stir right. You add the tablespoon of Tabasco. Like I said, if you don't like it too spicy, you could probably do half of it. But I like mine spicy. Then a tablespoon of floor sauce. And your sauce should be ready to go once it's all heated up and warmed up and brought to a boiling. Look, that looks already good. Despite looking at it, the smell of it, it's making my mouth watery. You could either try it and see if you need anything else, if you want it more spicy, if you, you know, want anything else. Perfect. Just gonna let it finish with the low, low heat. You don't have to be moving it any longer until like in a little bit. So we're gonna be checking the corn. They're almost out of boiling. Then after that, you could throw in the potatoes. Just be careful not to get burnt. You hear that? The sound of that sounds amazing. I'm ready to eat.
All right, this is almost ready. We're just waiting on the corn and the potatoes. Once you see that they're almost ready, obviously you could um, get a fork. You get a fork and you stab the potatoes and stuff to see if they're ready. Once they're almost ready, you throw the uh, sausages in there. Can you see? Yeah, you throw the sausages in there because this don't need to be boiled a lot. And then after that, you're gonna throw in the shrimp when it, everything's almost ready because the shrimp cook really fast and you can't have them get, you know, chewy and stuff like that. So we have to wait till everything's almost ready. And see, the sauce is almost ready. And now you see how the um, onions and the garlic is all in there. So like that once you dip your shrimp or your corn or whatever you could have some of those in there it tastes bomb all right so we're just gonna lower the heat and then we're gonna wait for this to actually come to a boil and be ready and i'll be right back All right, guys, welcome back. Now, you see that it's boiling. We're gonna try it. See how it goes in hella soft and it comes back out? It's ready. So now, we're gonna put in the uh, sausages. And I already have the eggs. I already boiled them and peeled them, so they're already done. We're gonna load, add the shrimpies. And then right away you're gonna kind of see how the shrimp changed colors. I don't know if you can see. It's hot. It is hot. But see how it's changing colors? Can you see? Oh, that's hot. How it's changing pink. We're just gonna wait till they cook a little bit longer. Our sauce is ready. That is screaming fire. Oh my God. <clears throat> that is just the way I like it. Spicy. We're just gonna wait for this to be done. And I will give you a presentation of how it looks when it's ready. So once everything's done, I will come right back. All right guys, so this is the final product of the shrimp boil and the sauce. This is how your sauce is supposed to look. That's not oil that's butter and that's the seasonings but you move it and it should be fine yes look how steamy that is and how delicious it looks obviously you could add other seafood stuff like crab um mussels octopus whatever you like but i don't really like all that so i enjoy the shrimp with the eggs, see there's eggs in there, there's corn, potatoes, sausage, and look at that. Yes, hopefully you guys like this recipe, give it, give it a thumbs up or down if you don't like it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you like it, if you made it, if you love it. And also let me know what other videos you'd like me to do and subscribe and see you guys next video.